Hey everyone, um, earlier today I had an experience of uh, negotiating with somebody and it made me realize that um, I made some mistakes in the past and that um, I let other people's emotions um, affect me negatively. I needed to get my car fixed. There's nothing major going on. Oh, my air conditioning unit is stuck in a certain setting. And so um, it, it was during the winter, it was okay because it was stuck in the, the heater. Um, for some reason, the heater was stuck on full. And um, I put off the heater for many, many months so just because there are other things going on that I'd rather be spending my money on. And it just could wait. And, um, what else has been going Oh, and also the, the charging unit for the cigarette lighter wasn't working. And, um, all that could wait. I figured, you know, I'll, I'll wait until something else goes on, then I'll get it all fixed together. It'll probably be cheaper that way. Oh, uh, but I need to get it fixed eventually. And a couple nights ago, um, my, uh, my window got stuck. Um, it was open and it wouldn't close anymore and obviously as you can hear from or maybe even see from the weather It's pouring right now. I obviously need to get that fixed And so the first um, car repair place I called um, I was in a frantic. Oh my god My window is stuck and then I realized I made a mistake uh, Because now he, he knows I'm, uh, I'm in a pinch to get it fixed So I, I as soon as I realized that I hung up the phone I composed myself and I decided not to not to go with him. And then I read some more reviews. He wasn't the best car repair person anyway. Um, and I composed myself and then I went back to my car. All of a sudden the window works again. It made me realize it wasn't the end of the world that the window was stuck and it was pouring. I could have covered up the window in quite a number of ways. I could have I could have resolved the situation a number of ways. Um, I just let the emotion um, catch me off guard. The fact that something was happening that I wasn't expecting. I do that a lot. Oh, I sometimes I get angry at things that when I when I get to zoom out and look at things, they, they aren't even worth getting angry over. I had a situation where um, this is when I first moved into my car, which I love, by the way. But I had um, gotten to an argument with somebody at a local library because um, my clothes weren't fitting correctly. And, it, and for the split second, it angered me because uh, when I first moved into my car, I was obviously, um, obviously all my stuff was in a disarray. I, I was, um, I moved in a pinch. I didn't have time to pack. Oh, my, I had a little bit of a trouble with a, a roommate of mine and I, I, I stormed out of the apartment in a pinch. And as a result, all my clothes were missing. They were, they were buried underneath all this junk in my car. And um, I ended up putting on a pair of pants that were many sizes too big. Oh, my weight kind of fluctuates a little bit. And at the library, apparently, part of my body was showing that it probably shouldn't have been. Anyways, but I was angry because I had just moved out of my apartment in a pinch, and now this guy reminds me of my miserable situation. At least at the split second, that's the, the, the thoughts that enter my head. You know, if I had given it time, I likely would have probably talk to this guy, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, let me get out of here and, and, and sort some things out. I actually just got out of my apartment, you know, maybe maybe even st struck a friendship with this guy after you know, talking to him. That's probably what I would do today if I had the time to compose myself and, and think over it. Um, I made me realize, uh, anytime uh, the phone call gets too stressful, one strategy I like to do right now is to explain to this person it's not the best place to talk. Can I call you back in 10 minutes? You know, I'm in a public place where I really can't talk on the phone. Even if that's not true, I can always say that. Give myself time to compose my, uh, myself and think about alternatives. Uh, one, one of the strategies of negotiations, obviously, is to have alternatives, right? If somebody calls me and catches me off guard with a disaster on the other end of the phone, that's when I tend to make the most mistakes. Um, you see, I, I do I do a lot of uh, gigs on Craigslist. Uh, one one problem that I deal with a lot is the the pressure of if I don't answer right away, they might find a different um, professional who can work on this gig. I do private tutoring. Um, 
I often feel like um, I, somebody calls me and they want my tutoring services and they're asking me for, for my quote and I don't know much about the situation. Some some tutoring jobs you really have to prepare, others you have to travel um, depending on the grade level of the kid, how often we're going to meet, the, the scheduling, but they want to know the price before I can dig into all of that. And um, there's a little bit of an implied threat. If you don't name the number, we're going to hang up and call a different tutor. They don't say that out loud, obviously, but, but there's that implied threat. And that's when I make the most mistakes, is when I feel threatened like that. Often, um, the best strategy, if I have... Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll ask the parent um, about these other questions I have, right? The scheduling, the location, the, the subject, the grade level... Um, if they can't answer it, uh, I'll, 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 have them, I'll, I'll have them call me back when they're ready to answer. Or maybe I'll tell them that I'm in a situation where I can't really talk very much. I'm in a library. i got to be quiet or whatever the situation may be at the moment. Or maybe just make up some situation just to give myself that extra five or ten minutes to, to, to compose myself and not be you know, fearful or angry or whatever the situation may call for. Anyways, um, I, I hope I gave you some insight on how to negotiate these situations. Thanks for watching.